MustangMedic.com. Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. Brought to you in high definition. The 1964 and a half Mustang, Mustang Convertible 260 Small Block Engine Project. Day 24, bringing her back to life. All right, this is the 64 video, and I just, I've got to acknowledge Nick. This guy has been suiting up, and actually not suiting up because he doesn't have a suit yet, but he's been showing up, and he's been volunteering steadily for us and helping us uh, get our uh, feet on the ground, and I am very grateful for this guy, and we are going to take a little road trip today, and we're going to get his Mustang Medic suit. I've already ordered all the patches. <laughs> so we are going to be, we're going to be suiting up Nick. Uh, in celebration, not only of the car being sold and all of his help for that with that project, but uh, the way he, he helps out is uh, just uh, I'm grateful, grateful to God and grateful to Nick for uh, all of his efforts on this endeavor. So there, that touching moment. We are gonna. This is the beginning of the uh, 64 and a half video. Want to do that darn interior today? Want to do it? And I've got to call William today and talk to him about that carburetor being spent. It's cooked. I don't think uh, I bought a. A kit for it, but all the plastic's been melted off on it, and it uh, looks like we're going to have to get a new carburetor, so we're going to have to talk to our client about that, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I, I hate finding out new, new issues with cars as you're working on them when you, you got a quote, and then you find out things, and you got to adjust it so we can get it done. So we'll work that out. Ring, ring. Okay, so he says, Nick's like, I know where the belts are because I've been looking for the fan belts. For two days, no, not just two days of looking for belts, but like, where are the belts? Where are the belts while I'm working? I'm thinking, Ricky just dumped them in the trash can, thought they were bad. I don't know. And Nick comes over and says, I know where the belts are. Of course. I put them there. You put them there? Yeah. All right. So let's go find those darn belts. And then uh, we're on our adventure with the 64 today. Thanks. All right. So here it is. Nick's like, I know where it is. I know where the belts are. We got a video uploading on the GT right now. Check out the video if you want the news on that. And here is. Uh, oh, we're going to return this and we're going to figure out a new distributor. I'm not going to deal with the box, I think. No way! Oh. <laughs> That's the belts? They've been hanging on the, on the sandblaster the whole time? Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh. He found the belts. Finally. Finally. All right. So we got the belts for the uh, yeah. 64 and a half. We're going to obviously clean those up. They're all dusty. Anything that looks dusty that goes into this car now looks horrible because everything else looks so good. Anything that goes in here dusty uh, it just sticks out like a sore thumb because she's look, it's looking so beautiful. Uh, we did get the coil secured. Um, the uh, uh, generator is all good to go. Dipstick's working fantastic in its correct position, happy to say. And now we've got to deal with this carburetor and its interior today. So, yippee ki -yay. Here we go. Belts. Belts. Okay, so Nick's got his uh, uniform on order since he's, his chest is so big. Look at this guy. I can't believe he fits under Mustangs. So, we, we, that's on order. We're going to wait for that. Got the first belt in. And now threading very ever, ever so gingerly the second belt. Oh wait, you know what? Let's clean that belt up first, Nick. All right, both belts have been placed on now that they've been found. Hallelujah! And we're going to tighten up the generator and tighten up the power steering pump now, and go from there. Ah, uh, we got bad news on the carburetor, and this is not estimated in the project for a new carburetor. We've got melted linkage on here, and that is shot. So we also have a spring that's got melted plastic on it, and that is not working. So I think we need a new carburetor for this car, which is not good news. And uh, going to have to discuss this with William about the carburetor. I'm trying to get prices to see exactly what we're dealing with, but it's melted here and part of the choke arm linkage is plastic and that melted away, so this is shot. So 
carburetor issues. We got a carburetor kit, but it doesn't include those plastic parts. It's not part of a carburetor kit. So, shout out Mustang Medic Alert. We need a carburetor for 260, or at least the linkage and parts of it. Do you guys know where I can get this stuff? I need this. I need the spring here, and this piece just just fell off the carburetor because it's all melted. So we've got a this. Uh, this is no good. So need your help, guys. Got to find the parts for this carburetor so we can get this thing running. This is like this was not uh, seen when it was estimated after the fire damage, unfortunately. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. All right, team. Let's go. We're gonna find the next Mustang. Yeah. MustangMedic.com